Hi Leo, this is your November 28th through December 4th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have uh, the Three of Swords clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Fool. Uh, we also have the Ace of Swords clarified by the King of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Sun with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and a fellow Fire Sign, Aries, and other Leo, Sagittarius. This is an interesting spread, an interesting story. Um, Leo. We've got two kings, the King of Cups and the King of Wands. Um, I don't think the King of Wands uh, represents you unless you're dealing with another Leo, but the King of Wands is most likely a fire sign. Here's Leo Sagittarius and the King of Cups is most likely a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And here's the deal about those two kings, right? Um, one of them, the King of Cups, either broke your heart in the past and you've been recovering from it and uh, this King of Wands will help you finish this recovery process or if you're dealing with two people, then uh, uh, you're leaving the King of Cups behind so you could move forward with this King of Wands. Okay, but uh, yeah, the Broken Heart, the first card that came out, the Three of Swords, is definitely associated with this King of Cups, which is clarifying. And again, it could be your Broken Heart because they broke it in the past and you've been healing from it. Or if you're dealing with two people, unfortunately for them, uh, you're deciding to move forward with this King of Wands, right? Right next to the Three of uh, Swords, we have the Fool. The Fool could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the Fool is either you taking the leap of faith with this King of Wands, or um, you're, you're still taking a leap of faith with them, but at the same time, you are letting go of the broken heart that the King of Cups caused you, right? The Fool is a card of a new beginning, right? So here comes the Ace of Swords, clarified by the King of Wands. Like I said, the King of Wands is the person you're moving forward with. The Ace of Swords is a very decisive energy, right? The, the Ace of Swords is a card of clarity, so you'll be crystal clear about what you want if you're dealing with two people. You'll be crystal clear that the King of Wands is the one you want to move forward with, or you'll be crystal clear that this King of Wands is actually the real deal. They're not playing or fooling around. They mean business. They want to get serious with you, right? The Ace of Swords is also a brand new beginning between you and this King of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Cups. <laughs> the Two of Cups, that's you and them. This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people are on the same page and uh, when the two people are, you know, feeling the same way towards one another. And I guess that feeling is love, which is mutual, all right? In the potential outcome, we have the Sun with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. The Sun is your major arcana card, Leo. That's you. Right? It's also a card of clarity, just like the Ace of Swords, and the, the Sun is the happiest card in the deck. This card always talks about joy, success, happiness, and feeling on top of the world. So here comes the Ace of Cups, the second Ace. It's all about love, genuine, authentic love, because that's what the Ace of Cups usually brings into a connection. And the Ten of Cups, the last card that came out, is the Happily Ever After card. It's a family card. It's um, This card is often referred to as the Happily Ever After card. I think I just mentioned it. Um, and uh, it's one of the best cards when it, when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So, yeah, we got the happiest card in the deck, which happens to be your card as well, and the Happily Ever After card. And, uh, and the Ace of Cups is sandwiched in between those two cards. So definitely love, definitely happiness. If this King of Cups broke your heart, this uh, King of Wands will restore your faith in love. They will restore your faith in people. They will kind of carry you through this. They will help you heal, finish this healing process, and uh, then they will marry you. Or if you're dealing with two people, well, um, unfortunately for the King of Cups, you're moving with this King of Wands because this person is definitely the one who resonates with you. That's the one you feel loved with. That's the one you feel like yourself because the Fool is also a card of, you know, no boundaries, right? Sometimes when we start dating somebody, it's like boundaries, you know, we, we, are, we feel like we can't be ourselves sometimes. With this person, with this King of Wands, you will feel like you can do anything, you can say anything, and they will feel the same way. And it's like you guys just click, 
All right. I'm not even going to do an extended for you, uh, Leo, because that would be a waste of time. Really, really happy for you. Congratulations. Leo, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this pair is for you. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Star on the bottom of the deck. Well, Leo, this is a very fortunate <laughs> spread. It's only four cards, but uh, look at them. We got the Ace of Pentacles, which is a golden opportunity. The Wheel of Fortune could be a fortunate turn of events, and the Star could be a wish come true. So, um, yeah, let's put all those four together. The Six of Pentacles, the first card. It could be a, a card of a choice or a card of an equal give and take, a card of balance, right? And um, perhaps balance is established. <laughs> and uh, the Ace of Pentacles, this card could be a proposal, by the way, right? So perhaps they are looking for a ring with that six of pentacles they're looking at different options and choosing a ring for you or they're choosing a, a place for the two of you to move in together or something like that right um or they're looking perhaps you guys are looking for a house yourself all, all together right the ace of pentacles could be you making a down payment on property a house or an apartment or what have you um, but uh, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay? The Wheel of Fortune is a fortunate turn of events, or you guys taking it to the next level, whatever that level is going to be for you. The Wheel of Fortune could be a card of going somewhere. All right, and uh, the star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is a wish come true. Something people have wished for or hoped for for a very long time. All right, so you can always leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you if it's not too personal or it's not too private. But again, this is something big, something that, that that's like life-changing, right? All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Knight of Cups, clarified by Judgment. We have the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Magician. We have the Empress clarified by the three and the two of ones, and we also have the five of ones on the bottom of the deck. This is one interesting reading. I don't know what your answer is going to be. Um, I know you guys always let me know in the comments down below that you don't take anybody back, but what I can tell you for sure is that this person and uh, their offer will make you think. <laughs> this is not going to be an immediate rejection. They will make you think. All right. I think they're going to be very persistent. We've got the seven of ones here. We've got the magician. We've got the five of ones. This is them fighting to uh, win you back. I think that's their energy, right? You're the empress here. Well, nobody ever doubts that, <laughs> right, Leo? But um, yeah, they will fight. Uh, the Knight of Cups uh, is the most romantic knight out of all four knights, so do expect a very romantic gesture, big, major romantic gesture. Judgment clarifying the Knight of Cups is a card of somebody coming back from the past. The Magician could be a Gemini you're dealing with, but the Magician is a card of manifestation, and at the same time, it's a card of taking action. And I think they will try different things. They will throw everything they've got at you. Okay? Um, uh, yeah, with the Seven of Wands, this, since that card is a card of an active defense, I think this is them defending the idea that the two of you should get back together. And again, they're going to be very active about it. The Empress is clarified by the Three and the Two of Wands. I was hoping, hoping to see um, <laughs> something there. But uh, that's a thought process that you're going to be going through. And uh, you will come up with a verdict. The Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. It's going to be up to you. I, I clarified the, the Empress twice because I was hoping to see, so what, I was actually asking, so what's the verdict? What's the, what's, what's the answer? And the two of ones showed up. Nope. Um, the universe wants you to think about it and uh, let them know. Because the two of ones say it's a card of a, a decision-making process. All right, so we're, I'm not, I was not given the answer. <laughs> You'll have to think about it on your own. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. We have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and Justice on the bottom of the deck. It doesn't look like work. Perhaps somebody you work with is getting married, and uh, you're going to their wedding. This is what it looks like. It looks like a wedding, all right? Perhaps you're getting married, <laughs> and you're going on a honeymoon after that. But uh, <laughs> that's what I see. 
right? A, a wedding or an engagement or, or taking um, the existing relationship to the next level, which probably is a wedding, right? Um, I don't know how many of you this will play out for, but <laughs> that's what I see. The Ten of Cups is the happily ever after card. It's a family card. The Two of Cups is a card of a soulmate connection. The Ace of Cups is all about love and justice. Could be a Libra you're dealing with, but justice, uh, you know, this is a, a place where people get married, like a chapel. <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's what I see here. Perhaps you're working and going to a wedding. Or I don't know. You can leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you. If this is about work after all, um, then this is a very, very loving partnership that is being established here. It will feel like a family, okay? <laughs> Some kind of a business deal or a partnership where you're starting a business and it's just, everybody is just so, so happy. <laughs> all right? <laughs> cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Leo. We have the Six of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess on the bottom of the deck. I think this is only indirectly related to you. We got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. I don't think any of those two represent you. But um, those two are getting married. And that's what you're not expecting. Perhaps those are the two people you work with. <laughs> you're going to their wedding. <laughs> <laughs> or you're going to their engagement party. I don't know who these people are to you, but uh, uh, both of them could be Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or they work together, they do business together, right? Something like that. Yeah, we got the Ace of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, that's a proposal or they're like getting, literally getting married. All right, or it's an engagement party. The High Priestess on the bottom of the deck is a card of a secret. Yeah, so that's what you're not expecting. Perhaps they kept it under wraps and uh, they're going to announce it this week. Or the, you will just go to their wedding. Okay? <laughs> All right, so that's what I have for you, Leo, for this uh, reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Leo, have an amazing week.